enough. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do a double crochet. Right here I have some examples of three rows of double crochet, half double crochet, and the single crochet. And you can see how much of a difference it makes in how big these pieces are. This one is similar in um, in depth to the single crochet, the half double crochet tends to be a little bit bulkier. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get to the tutorial. What I've done in advance for this is I've done 10 chains and then two additional chains, which are my turning chains. So the way you start this is very similar to a half double crochet. You wanna yarn over your hook, skip those first two chains, and go into the third chain from the hook. Yarn over, pull through the chain, yarn over, pull through two of the three loops, yarn over and pull through the next two. Let me show you again, it's a little tricky. So yarn over, go through the base chain, yarn over, pull it through. Notice you have three here. Yarn over, you're gonna pull through two of them, creating another one, and still having the first original one there. And then you'll yarn over and pull through both of those. So yarn over, go through the chain, yarn over, through two, yarn over, through two. I really like doing this one just because it you go so fast. If you, if you do a bulky yarn and make a scarf with a large needle, this is like super duper quick project. Okay. And that is actually something I like to do when I have a new, a new stitch that I'm trying is do either washcloth or a scarf, anything repetitive, a blanket, so that you really get that muscle memory and you get a feel for the new stitch. Okay, so again, I've yarned over through the base chain and turn, go through both, yarn over through the base chain, pull through, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through the base chain, and just do it again. So now that I've gotten down to the end, I'm gonna do two turning chains and I'm gonna turn my piece. And then I'm just gonna start the process all over again, yarn over, but this time instead of just going through that back part, although you can, some patterns call for that, most of the time you're gonna go right underneath that entire V section and continue that double crochet. So yarn over under the next stitch Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And once you get so that you've done it enough, it'll be no problem. So just lots and lots of practice, but if you have any questions, go ahead and let us know.